Hi there, my name's Daniel and I'm speaking for Gondola Writing, Art and Design and today we're going to have a very fast look at layers. Down here is my layers panel. This will change de depending on what type of screen layout you've got. You'll notice that there are these little eye icons next to each layer and this allows you to turn off a layer or hide a layer without deleting it. So you can see that I can take that text away. You also notice that there is this padlock on the background layer. Now this padlock basically means I can't edit the background layer in certain ways. I can add this pa uh, this padlock to any other layer by just clicking here, and you'll know that you'll notice that grays out certain controls up here. I can't now edit this layer as proven by this little icon here I get on the cursor so I can take that off as well. The only way you can sort of edit your background layer is in a fuller sense, so changing the layer, layer type and the opacity is if you make a new layer, so you can right click on it and duplicate that layer and here you can change the name and you can make a new document just from this layer so click OK and that creates a new layer. You can also do Control and J, that will create a new layer or you can even uh, uh, drag your layer down to the bottom where there's this icon here and that will create a new layer. This icon here is also for creating a new layer rather than just duplicating a previous layer if you click on it on its own. To select multiple layers you can either press, uh, press and hold shift and click on a layer below or above and that will select every layer in between or you can do the classic thing of pressing control and that will allow you to, to hold different layers so if I select these two layers you can either delete them by clicking this little bin icon here or trash can, trash can depending where you are in the world or you can press delete on your keyboard that will also delete it you can also click and drag on that layer and pull it down to the trash can the bin and it will delete. You know how I was talking about these little eye icons? Well, f that applies for effects as well. So here you see it says FX, and here I can turn on and off individual effects or effects on the whole. So I, I can turn off the bevel and boss and the inner glow whilst keeping the outer glow there if I so wished. Other things about layers are opacity and fill they effectively do the same thing and opacity is used more often so if I I can either enter a value into here I can click this and I get a slider and that will change the opacity if you notice on the main screen say 50% 51% opacity will have it like this 100% and then 0% is effectively turning off the layer by using the eye icon you can also um, hover over where it says opacity and click and drag and that will allow you to change the opacity. Here we have the different layer types and if you click here you get a drop down list and you can see all the different types of layers which will come on to a later stage. I do have in this file this layer, this background copy layer as lighten and we'll see the effect of that later on. hope this has given you some in insight into what we use layers for in Photoshop. See you in the next one.